Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. In this video, we'll understand what is Microsoft SharePoint and later on we'll manage it. So guys, without any delay, let's get started. So guys, before we proceed to lab environment, let us understand what is Microsoft SharePoint online. So guys, basically Microsoft SharePoint is a cloud-based service that helps organization to share and manage content knowledge and applications to empower teamwork to quickly find the information and to seamlessly collaborate across the organization. Now let's discuss what are the benefits of using SharePoint. So the benefit is like the SharePoint enables increased productivity and visibility for information workers across all verticals in business whether it is a large or a small business. So friends, the features of SharePoint are centered around intranet based cross collaboration experience that enables secure sharing, content management and workflow collaboration features among many others. So friends, this was a brief introduction of what Microsoft SharePoint is. Now let's go to lab environment and we'll see how we can manage it. Okay friends, so we have logged in in Microsoft 365 admin center and now we'll click on show all. So in admin centers, we'll click on SharePoint admin center. So we'll navigate to SharePoint admin center. And now we'll click on active sites. You can see right now there are two active sites by default. So let's start with how to create an active site. So we'll click on create. So as you can see, there are two type of sites. The first site is team site and the second is communicate site. The team site is like you can share the documents and have conversation with your teammates. You can keep a track on events, manage tracks and more with the site connected to a Microsoft 365 groups. And the second is now the communication site. In the communication site, we can publish dynamic, beautiful content to people in your organization to keep them informed and engaged on the topic events or the projects. So let's start with team site. So we'll click on team sites. So first of all, we have to give the name to this site. So friends, we have given the site name team project. So you can see this site is available. So if you will enter the, any name which is not available and it is already that name is assigned to some site, you will be getting notified that this site is not available, right? So in the group email address, the allies name will be team project. So you can see this is the site address name and this is the link of our site address. So here you can add the group owner. So let's add Rachit as a group owner any specific language if you want you can select right now we'll go with English now we'll click on advanced settings now in privacy settings you can see we have two type of site like if you want a public site or a private site anyone in the organization will access the site if you will select the public site and if you want only members can access the site then you can go with private site so we'll go with public site and here you can add the description about this site site is for the sharing documents related to the project so now to create the site, we'll click on next. Now you can see the site name is team project. Now, if you want an additional owner of this site, you can simply enter the name of the particular member. If you don't want, you can just skip this site, right? In the add members, you can add those name in the add members whom you want to be a member of this site. So we'll do it later on. As of now, we'll click on finish to create the site. So as you can see, our site is now created. We'll click over here. You can change any setting if you want. So you can see there is no activity as of now we have done. Now it will click on permissions. So you can see in the permissions, the owner with the name of Rachit, you can add the additional admins if you want. So you can see in the site members, we have nothing yet. So we'll add members later. Now in the policies, you can change the policy of the sh external sharing and the sensitivity as well. Now we'll close this. This is a permission like you can manage the group owners after creating the site as well and you can manage the additional admins as well. So this is the hub. You can register a hub site with the active site and you can associate with it hub site. Now let's go to the sharing part. So in the sharing, you can see the sharing settings available for this site depends on your organization level settings. First, we have external sharing. So you can see site container can be shared too. So you can modify the settings like if you want the sharing to be with anyone and everyone. You can select the radio button of anyone. If you want a only new members and the existing guest, you can select this radio button. You want an existing guest only to be a part of active sites. You can select this. And if you want only people in your organization, 
to be a part of the site you can select this radio button in the advanced setting for external sharing you, you can limit sharing by domains in the expiration of guest access by unchecking the box you can add guest ex expiration time now we have a default sharing link type so you can choose a type of link that is selected by default when user shares files and folders on this site and the last we have a default link permissions so these all are the sharing settings you can modify and if you have modified the settings according to yourself then if you want to reset to the organization level settings you can simply click on this link so as of now we'll click on cancel now if you want to delete this site you can simply select the site and you can click on delete so friends now we are navigated to sharepoint so you can see the site which we have created is showing under the following now we'll click on our site which is team project and as you can see in the team projects the first thing is like in the home section if i will click on new we can create a list let's click on list so in the list you can create a blank list or you can also create a excel list or you can select the list from the existing list if you have then we have a few templates like the issue tracker and these all are the templates so you can use the templates so we'll close this again click on new so then we have a document library you can create your document library by your name and you can add the documents related to this site let's close this now again click on new then we have a page so in the pages you can create a blank page in the page you can add the page basically this is a drop down system like you can enter the name of the page you want to create then you can click on this plus button and you can add the text to your page you can insert the image you can enter the quick links you can add the news you can add the people and this is the rest thing you can add like you can add, add the text media and content you can see there are multiple options you can add those over here after creating the page you can click on pub publish to create this page now let's go back so similarly you can create the space you can create the new post new links or you can plan something or the, click on app so these are the features you can use them one by one so now we'll click on conversations so you can start your conversation from here it will navigate you to outlook now let's go back then we have a documents so you can share or you can add a new document you can create a new document as well so you can share your documents from here in the document section every document which will be shared by the group member or the admins will be listed over here you can upload the document you can if you click on new any type of document you can create from here now let's click on shared with us so everything which will be shared with you will be listed over here now let's go to notebook so this is your notebook you can read what's new in this you can type anything and then you can share it by adding the name or group or email or you can also send the link then we have a pages right so the site pages you will see over here you can export the pages to excel now we'll click on site contents so this is our site contains like all the documents form templates site assets will be listed under these folders then we have a recycle bin so if you will delete anything that will be listed here you can click add it if you want to enable the site navigations like you can add it move up any tab you can move up or down or you can remove it as well so as of now we'll cancel it so guys this was a brief introduction about what microsoft sharepoint is it is widely used in industries and you have seen how we can manage it for more informative videos you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos i will see you guys in next video